Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can clear the cache on your iPhone running iOS 15 and get back more storage space on your device. Okay, first let's go back to your home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. Then on the home screen, tap on settings. And if you go to settings, then go down and tap on general, then tap on iPhone storage and go all the way down to the bottom and tap on system data and here it will tell you how much data that your system is currently using it shows it said that system data includes cache logs and other resources currently in use by the system and this value can go up and down based on the system usage now once you restart the phone then this um, this data this uh, system data cache will be lower so I have just already restarted the phone, but I'll show you how you can do that. You're going to need to press on the volume up, then volume down, and then on the side key and hold, and then just simply power off. So swipe across and then turn off the device. Now put up the phone and go back into the iPhone storage. Now if you go back into the iPhone storage and in the system data, you should see this number will go lower. And uh, because I have recently just we put it that's why this uh, number doesn't go down um, quite a lot so that is one of the way how you can clear the system cache and now another way how you can clear the cache on your device is to remove the data from the app itself such as your safari web browser or the chrome web browser so for instance if you uh, go into your uh, settings and then we're going to go down to Safari so if we go all the way down to uh, Safari so we need to look for the Safari app in here in Safari we want to go down and in here tap on clear history and web data so over time when you're using Safari a lot of the data will be downloaded and stored and uh, over time they may not be even needed so you can uh, go in here and tap on clear history and data and this will allow you to uh, clear up the cache that is stored by the web browser itself and if you are using a Chrome web browser you can open up Chrome and then you tap on the more button at the bottom then you tap on settings in settings you go down and tap on privacy in here tap on clear browsing data and then you can choose the time range all time and tap on clear browsing data and tap on clear browsing data and that will clear the cache from an app okay so that is another thing that you can do now if you go into settings so if you go back into settings and then uh, we go down the list and we can also uh, clear cache from an app as well so say if i uh, open up this uh, pubg mobile app you can see here um, in here so i go back to storage sorry so if we go back into general and then iphone storage and if we go down to this app here pubg mobile you can see it's using up um, together 1.73 gigabytes and document and data is 1.16 gigabyte so what you can do is you can delete the app so if you delete the app and then you go to the app store and install the app again then the document and data will be clear and that will also allow you to save some uh, data now obviously if you want to retain the data uh, of the app then do not uh, clear the data for example if you are uh, playing a game like um, Suga Crash and if you clear the data then all of your uh, levels will be cleared and you have to start the game over again so only uh, clear the documents and data on apps that you don't that you no longer need and uh, that will allow you to um, uh, get some of the storage space back so just go down the list here and go into the apps that you want to uh, clear the data for example TikTok here you can go in and clear documents and data by simply delete delete the app and then install it again do not use the offload app because uh, that only delete the application 
the app size, but the documents and the data will still remain on your device. So make sure that you delete the app and then reinstall them from the App Store. Now in some apps, there is also an option for you to clear the cache directly from the app settings. Now while most of the apps doesn't give you these options, some apps do have the option for you to clear cache directly from the settings. So for instance, if I open up uh, Spotify right here, and in Spotify I can tap on the settings button and then we go down and tap on storage and in here we can tap on the delete cache button and then tap on delete cache and that will allow me to clear up the cache from the device itself. So again, not all apps will give you the ability to delete cache, only some uh, do. So it might worth that you want to go through the apps and check it out which apps give you, uh, give you the option to uh, delete cache directly from the app. Okay, so those are the options uh, on how you can clear cache on your iPhone running iOS 15. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.